Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Love Connection reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at a love connection or some sort of connection you believe you have with another person. Um, you do have to know them or know each other. Don't necessarily have to be together. So we're going to take a look at the energy between you and that person at this time. It may or may not resonate with every single person. Please keep that in mind. It could be past, present, or future. Um, it is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female watching this. doesn't really matter. And we'll see what we get here for you, uh, Scorpio. So we're going to take a look at um, opening love connection energy message between the two of you. And then I'm going to pull one for each of you, how you're feeling about each other in the connection. We'll clarify that energy and then look at the actual connection, advice, possible outcome, and then pull some extra love oracles there. So first with the Zodiac Oracle, we could get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Scorpio, everything you need to know about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, um, tons of stuff, playlist. If you like tip, like to tip, donate, or send a gift, anything like that. Um, all that info is in the description box below, as well as the pinned top comment. And feel free to check that out. And you can check out my channel, like what you see. I would love it if you would uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I um, do a lot of readings a month, so about five readings for each sign. If you do, thank you. All right, so Scorpio, Scorpio. <clears throat> what do we have for Scorpio in love at this time? Spirit, please. Oh, we got Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with the Saggy. If not, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If not, Sagittarius does represent temperance in the uh, major arcana. So that is all about healing and patience and balancing energy, peace and harmony. So also bring soulmates together or, you know, returning to a soulmate or whatever you have there. So may or may not mean something to some of you. So let's see. For Scorpio... Get an opening love energy, connection energy for Scorpio spirit, please. For whoever they're thinking about for this reading, for this connection. What is the opening energy like for Scorpio? One card, please, in their person at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Wow. That just... You know what? I think I'm being called to this one. Oh, we have choice here. Queen of Pentacles, though. So it's about stability, practicality. 22 is 2 is unity. So it's double unity here. And then you add that together as 4, which is about stability also. So let's see. This is choice. I like to read the little snippets in here because they're just really cute. So decisions and choices are what I offer. Alternate Directions are what I aguar, aguar, I don't even know what that word is. I speak in multiple, in double, and when I'm in a relationship, I might be troubled. But I'm also getting here that you may need to make a choice or a decision. Somebody does here about this connection. All right, so, or choose a path here, or some path that needs to be chosen in this um, <clears throat> connection, Scorpio. So let's... Put Scorpio, put you on this side, your person on that side. But if any time during this reading you feel like the energies need to be flipped, switched, whatever, please feel free to do that. All right, Scorpio, let's see how you are feeling about this person in this connection. Spirit, please, or Scorpio, and then get one for Scorpio's person. How are they feeling about Scorpio in this connection at this time? Spirit, please, thank you so much. A Scorpio's person in love at this time. One card. All right, that one. So for you, Scorpio, whoop, you cutting somebody out here? Oh, I forgot what you call this, but anyway, tens are about endings. We do have the Knight of Pentacles there, which is a very slow-moving energy. You know, they're taking too long, and you just decided here to make this choice to cut them out. Hmm, I don't know. And your person here, oh, what's going on here, has the mice here. This is kind of pesty, naggy uh, energy. 
Seven of Wands being defensive down at the bottom here. 23-5 change. Wow. Wow, all right. I'm not getting a good energy here, but we'll see where this goes. Number 10 for you, Scorpio, is the Sith. I think that's how you say it, Sith. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. Be careful. I am swift and sharp. I cut through with precision and uh, with a sharp and clear vision. I am an accident, a deep cut, a break, or sometimes a difficult decision that needs to be made. And here's a decision right there. I can bring good harvest or danger. Look at what I am cutting nearby and might just it just might be your wage. Right, we're not pulling any cards like next to it, so we're not gonna, but let's see, 23 here for the mice. You don't want me in your house, you don't want me in your blouse. <laughs> Sounds like um, cat in the hat. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh my God, I can't think of his name. Anyway, I bring loss, I bring theft with destruction and decay. I am your stress and anxiety. I am the worry in society, I am your nuisance. I am your pest. I bring sickness in your nest. So, does this person see you as a nuisance and a pest? And you're like, okay, they're and they're defensive against you. And you're like, okay, he's not taking any action. He's slow moving. He's not doing anything here. So, you know, I'm just ending this and cutting this out, making that choice. Wow, pretty cut and dry there, Scorpio. Wow. Okay. Someone knowing their value and worth, the Queen of Pentacles energy. But we do have the stars here, which is about healing, divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism. 16, 7, being on the right spiritual path. Um, six of Cups energy. So this is a definitely uh, nostalgia, soulmate energy here, things of the past. Let's see what the stars have to say. Let's see what the stars have to say. 16. Oh. oh, my God. Shiny sparkles, guidance, and healing is what I promise through a gentle feeling. I am reassurance, inspiration, and a few, and a new path for your exploration. Wish upon a star, for I bring hope and light from afar. So, I mean, maybe the situation could be healed, or this is somebody just healing after the situation. I don't know. We'll see where this is going, Scorpio. <clears throat> Where is this going, Scorpio? Someone may finally tell the other one, you know, but this is it, cutting them out, blocking them. And this person may know, uh, maybe they know that you see them as a nuisance and they're blocking, and you're blocking them. And it's 23 5, maybe they want to change. Maybe they don't want this to end. Maybe they could be making a choice here to change. Because this is about wishes and dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism healing energy so divinely guided energy especially with the six of cups soulmate energy there you could have known this person for a long time been with them for a long time known them you know high school childhood or past lives with them all right so why does scorpio have the sith here Ooh. why does scorpio not the Sith. Oh, the Moon and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so they weren't being open and honest here. Illusion, feeling very illusioned by them. Not seeing clearly. And deciding here with the Eight of Cups energy change. And we do have change over there. So deciding to walk away from this because there's just too much illusion here in this connection. I feel like they were taking too long. Make, not making any like improvements or anything in the connection I feel also so you decided here you know what <laughs> walking away wow ending it cutting them out walking away all right so what is the mice here for for your person <clears throat> Scorpio the world and I regeneration so maybe by you maybe you didn't even say anything to them maybe you just kind of turned your back and walked away but regeneration here and I felt that energy that they want to change that they want to close out 
and start over and start a new cycle here. Like they want to, they want to change regeneration. They want to change. All right. The world I feel. So let's get one more Knight of pentacles. So we did have the Knight of pentacles over here. I feel like they know they were very, very slow moving. They know that they needed to make an offer, a stable, secure, grounded offer of some kind or a leveling up of some kind and they were very slow they weren't making any moves and they knew that with the world energy they knew and now they know definitely that <coughs> they weren't making that step in the right direction so now they want to rush in because they see you walking away and they want to change and offer this now whether or not you'll accept it is another thing so let's look at the actual situation here the actual situation here for you Scorpio nine of Pentacles yeah you you're going solo here <laughs> you're going solo with the nine of Pentacles energy just doing you being you know independent you can take care of yourself you don't need anyone you have everything you need Ace of Wands, you're going after your fiery, passionate new beginning. I think you wanted this fiery, you know, passionate new beginning with this person also. And now you could just be going after things, new things in your life. All right. Independently. Eight of Wands. So this is Cupid's Arrows. Love meshes, messages. Travel. They may be trying to travel to come and see you to see if they can re-spark here to have this Ace of Wands also with you. But I don't know. I don't know here because you have this single independent energy and energy of walking away, cutting them out with the sit there. Wow. So let's get a few more here for this situation. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they were trapped in their head here. You know, maybe knowing they had to offer more, they got kind of scared, trapped in their head. And so they weren't making any moves and you're like, oh my God, there's such a nuisance and a pest. And I think they kind of knew you saw them in that energy too. And now they want to change. And, you know, they saw you being defensive against them and maybe they were defensive because of their energy of being kind of, um, you know, pride energy. But let's see, let's get one more. Let's get one more. You Scorpio. Ten of Wands. So they're, you know, feeling burdened here. A lot of burdensome energy. Again, completion, responsibility. Having a lot of responsibility here, but that's also a completion. So, or laying down the heavy burdens. So let's see, why is the Ten of Wands there? Why is the Ten of Wands there for Scorpio's person? Death, transformation. Again, with the transformation and regeneration. <laughs> Recognition, Three of Pentacles. This is working on it. This is coming back together. Teamwork, collaboration. Ten of Pentacles, because now they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. Wow. Now they want long-term commitment. Now they want the happy home and family the whole nine yards, the whole ten yards. Now they want it all. Now they want to change. Now they want to work on it. They've transformed. They don't want this to end. They want this to transform. Stuck in their head and feeling burdened. But now, yep, now they want to change. But whether or not you'll accept it, I don't know. So what, what is the advice in this connection? What is the advice in this connection? Wow. Strength. So very strong uh, connection here or having strength, willpower, um, determination kind of energy, overcoming kind of energy, being stable. We do have four swords, so healing, resting, recuperating, rejuvenating energy for the advice. That is about healing though. Seven of Cups energy, though, being a little disillusioned, confused, possibility, options, Page of Swords. It does say gossip, but could be spying on one another. 
or this is open, honest, truthful communication. I take it that way. Uh, so I'm getting here. The advice is here to be strong. And if you feel this is a strong connection, even though you were kind of fed up with their energy of like not making any moves or not uh, leveling up in any way or taking too long, or maybe you saw them some way as a pest or nuisance or whatever. And now they want to change. Now they want to come in. Now they want everything. Now they may want to propose. They want to, you know, <laughs> take it all the way. So you may have to take some time here with the Four of Swords to think about this, about the possibility of this. But being open and honest communication here about this um, connection, about this whole situation, being very open and honest how you how they made you feel you know what their actions were or weren't what they you know everything being honest about everything you see all the cups here everything you need to be honest about if you want this to be a very strong bond of or be you know even stronger moving forward all right so or some of you may just decide to cut this person off and just totally walk away but <clears throat> Let's see what the possible outcome is. Possible outcome is here for you. And we got three. Wow, we got all, we got wands and pentacles. So we have the seven of wands. This is fighting and not giving up. Endurance, enduring through this. Nine of wands, you know, being a little defensive and on guard, but you keep fighting on. And seven of pentacles. So this is about <laughs> patience and waiting. So building slowly potential so we have you at the bottom here with the queen of cups energy here so i mean the possible outcome is i mean there could be more waiting investing waiting potential seeing the potential in this fighting for it not giving up having endurance to see this through kind of energy. So let's get a couple more because it's kind of like very vague. The possible outcome here for Scorpio spirit, please. Thank you so much. Queen of Wands, a very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. Passion, definitely is passion here. And the King of Cups. So now we have a couple. That's you, Scorpio. And that's the King of Wands. Wow, I can't make this up. <laughs> oh, the King of Wands. Well, the Queen of Wands is Aries, but it doesn't have to be. It can be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And the um, King of Cups here can be Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. Can be can be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So we have the couple here, which is here. That's just crazy. So we do have the couple, you know, building slowly, seeing the potential. Maybe, you know, laying, you know, the defense is down here a little bit, enduring through this. Finally, like, coming together and enduring. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom here. Four of Wands, so there you go. Soulmate, Twin of Flame Energy, very happy home, stable family, home life, uh, ceremony, celebration kind of energy, victory, Ace of Swords. So here's my Divine uh, Energy card. Ace of Swords, Truth, Clarity, Open Communication, Being Very Honest, Aha Moment, Epiphany, Victory, Cutting Away Things Not Serving, Nine of Cups, Wishes and Dreams Coming True, Happiness and Joy in Every Single Way, Moving Forward, A Lot of Drive, Ambition and Passion with the Knight of Wands because now we have the Sun, Soulmate, Twin Flame, Energy, Happiness, Success, Victory in Every Single Way, Possible in Life and Healing. So I think there will be healing and soulmates coming together here and working this out, I, th I feel. I mean, somebody, you probably just put your foot down, which made them change. And now this is coming together, I feel. So we have Leo. The Knight of Wands here is Leo again. And we have the Queen of Wands, which is Aries energy here, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, we have Cancer Pisces, we have um, the world here, which is uh, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, 
in Capricorn, I believe, in the Knight of Pentacles here is Taurus. Let's see, Scorpio, Leo, and the King of Cups can be Pisces, but doesn't have to be. So a lot of energy here. So let's get some extra messages for you here. Scorpio with this deck. Some extra love messages here. Scorpio for this deck. So I do feel here uh, somebody put their foot down. Now the other person is changing. And now soulmate twin flames here coming together and working this out. And building for a lifetime with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Lifetime partner here. Finally. <laughs> finally. Lifetime partner. Finally. All right. So let's get some messages for you. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts. Wow, exactly. And provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. 31-4, again, with stability. Foundation. All right, so a few more here. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. 35-8, travel, action, communication. And we have here express love through gifts, 19. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. They finally may be offering here a, a proposal of some kind here, Scorpio. 19, 10 is something coming full circle, completion, and a new beginning. So, wow. Finally, uh, speaking the language of love to one another here. And down here we have practice compassion, see things from a different perspective. 15 is 6, very healing, balancing number. So seeing things from their point of view, finally maybe here. And I feel uh, finally working this out. All right, Scorpio, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.